In this video, we're going to be tying a bonefish fly called the Bone Crusher. Great bonefish fly for the Bahamas or Florida or even Mexico for that matter. First thing we're going to do is start with a little bit of pink thread. Then we're going to take a pair of large or medium bead chain eyes and we're going to tie these in about a little less than halfway back from the eye, about two or three hook eye lengths away from the eye. We don't want to tie this fly uh, with the eyes too close to the front of the hook. This fly is meant to have the eyes more towards kind of the middle portion. All I'm doing now is just securing those eyes, making sure that they won't roll or slide on me. You can add a little bit of super glue too to uh, keep those eyes from moving. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some medium D rib. I'm going to be using some red here, but you can use whatever color you like. You can use chartreuse, pink, orange, clear, browns, olives. Like I said, you can really do whatever you want. And I tie that in all the way down the body. And I'm just going to build a quick thread base covering up all that D-rib. I kind of want a little bit of that pink color to shine through. Then I'm going to take my thread to just in front of the eye of the fly, or just in front of the eyes. Then I'm going to take the D-rib and I'm just going to build a little body with it. One wrap right in front of the other. And I can take my thread. I'm just going to tie it off right there at the front. And I'm going to take my thread and advance it forward. And just let that D rib hang off the front of the fly. You can trim a little bit of it if it's in your way. And I'm going to take my thread and go back to just behind the eyes. I'm going to take a little bit of pseudo hair. I'm going to tie it with the sand color pseudo hair. But you can also tie this with white. You can also tie it with tan. Basically any of the bonefish colors that you see a lot of bonefish flies tied in. And this step is actually easiest to invert your fly. And with this pseudo hair I want to make sure that I pull out any of the short fibers out of the butt ends that I trimmed away from the patch. I want to make sure you get rid of all of those. Those just add bulk and don't uh, actually add anything to the wing. It just adds bulk when you're trying to tie it in. Then to even up the tips, I just take my fingernail and pinch the tips so I can kind of taper however long a piece that I want. Then I measure it out. I want it to be about one and a half times the length of the shank there. Once I have it measured out, I can trim out the excess. We're just going to lay it right on the underside of the hook. Then you can kind of take some of that pseudo hair and just work it around the, the point. I want to make sure that I tie that in as far forward or as close to the eyes as I can and I can do that just kinda of by figure eighting that pseudo hair around those eyes. I don't want to tie it in too far back along the body. I want it right up against those eyes. That's kinda of why I do that little figure eight. It ties it more down kinda of right in the middle of the eyes instead of back behind. Then we're gonna take three barred and speckled crazy legs and bonefish tan. I'm going to tie these in the same way I did the pseudo hair. And I tie right in the middle of the section of the barred and crazy legs, so half of it hangs off the back, half of it hangs off the front. Then I could take the part that's hanging off the front and just fold it back over itself. And there we go, there's my other set of legs on the other side of the fly. You can just let those hang off for now. 
Now the next step is to take a little bit of medium cactus chenille. I'm going to peel a little bit off the tip here, exposing the, the core, that thread core, and I'm just going to tie it in by the, the thread core. I'm going to take my thread and just stop it, let it hang right off the front there. Now with this first wrap, I'm actually going to take this material, I'm going to wrap it up over the top first. I'm going to come up behind all this material. The idea is I want to prop this material up. And once I have that one wrap at the back, now I can just go around the eyes and build the, the head of the fly. And you got to be careful you don't go around the eyes too many times. Just a couple of times should be enough. Then I can capture it with two wraps. Now I'm going to get in as close as I can and trim it out of there. And I can clean it up. Now I'm going to take my thread back to just in front of that head and I'm going to finish the fly just by wrapping this D-rib back to the head. Once I've done that, I can capture it. Trim it out of there. Whip finish. Now we can trim our legs. I just pull all the legs together. Want them to just be a little shorter than our wing. And kind of splay them out. Just like so. And if you need to give your head a little trim, sometimes this cactus chenille kind of pokes out in areas a little too much. You can just give it a little bit of a haircut if you need to. There we go. And this fly will ride hook up just as we had it the vise there. It'll ride just like so. Kind of pop along the bottom like a little shrimp. Just to make sure that it doesn't come apart on us, I take a little bit of my brush on super glue and just hit the thread in the head of the fly. but very effective little bonefish fly. It'll sit just like so in the water. Looks like a little micro crab or a little shrimp, but a very, very good bonefish fly. I've had a lot of luck with it. Uh, a lot of people do like it for uh, the Bahamas. And you can tie it with heavier eyes if you like. We used bead chain, but uh, if you do want to tie it a little heavier, you can tie it with uh, some brass eyes or some lead eyes. That'll get the fly down a little faster if you're fishing some deeper water. And you can tie it in a lot of different colors too. This is kind of a, a red and shrimp color, but you can tie it in chartreuse, tans, olives, uh, whatever you want. This is kind of the classic color uh, that I've always seen it sold in, and it's probably the more popular color. And that is the Bone Crusher. You can find all the materials to uh, tie this fly on our website, in theriffle.com.